Hi, I'm Anthony from LNG Live. Today we're going to look at the assembling and starting procedure of the trade power generator range. Once you've unpacked your generator, very important, the blue pouch inside the pouch has all the necessary nuts and bolts for assembling the axle, the feet, and the handle. Another important thing in the pouch is your operating instruction manual. It's advisable to read this. It tells you all the do's and don'ts of the generator. We're going to move on to filling the oil. Uh, on the dipstick, you'll see that it has a tag. It says, no oil, please fill before starting. What we'll do is we'll unscrew the dipstick. You'll see the dipstick has a level indicator on it, but very importantly is to read that instruction manual. It also shows you a diagram of where the oil level should be. Once you have filled your oil, make sure that the dipstick is replaced and it is screwed on tightly. We're going to move on to connecting the battery now. Very important is to connect the battery first before filling with petrol in case there are sparks that we don't have a fire. In the pouch that we spoke about earlier are the nuts and bolts for connecting the battery. The black is to the black and the red is to the red. Black is negative, red is positive. Obviously, the nuts and bolts tightened with the correct spanners. Once your battery is tight, we're going to move on to now filling up the petrol. You remove the cap on the top, fill it with petrol. The petrol uses your standard unleaded petrol. Very nice feature of this machine. It has a fuel gauge indicator, which tells you whether the tank is full or empty. Once you've decanted your petrol and it's full, replace the cap. Now we're going to move on to the starting procedure of the generator. Now we are going to start the generator. On the front panel, you have an on-off switch. You will put the switch to the on position, your petrol tap to the on position, your choke lever to the on position. Then you would pull start it. Once your machine is running, very important that the choke lever must go to the off position. I'm now going to start the machine. With this generator being electric start, when it comes out the box, the battery may not be fully charged, so it is advisable on first startup is to pull start it. Once you've run it for a while, next time you go to start it, all you would do is follow the standard starting procedure, put your petrol tap on, put your choke on, and you'll be able to start it with the key. Switching the generator off now with the electric start, all you would do is Turn the key to the off position and the machine will stop. When you're finished using your generator, to switch the generator off, you would go to your front panel, switch your on off switch to the off position, the machine will die, you'd go to your petrol tap and switch that off. Very importantly, if the generator is going to be put away in storage for long periods of time or not be used, it's very important to rather have the machine run with the petrol tap in the off position to drain the excess fuel of the carburetor and then you can put it into storage. Once your generator is started, you take your three pin plug, insert it into the socket, switch your circuit breaker on, and you'll have electricity.